Hello and welcome back to part 12 of Citizen Sleeper. Let's roll some dice. This is going to decide everything. Or oh, decide some things. It's going to narrow down our decisions so that we can easily make some decisions, maybe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The goddamn twos. Okay. Right, what I think we need to do with these, I've already made some immediate decisions, I think. Uh, I think we should tea house with one of the fives. I think we should uh, go up here. Let's ascend. Right, what we need to do with one of these fives is get a key, right? This one is a number five thingy. And we need to get these as fast as possible so that we can save our navigator friend. So let's... By the way, the navigator is a really cool program. Imagine if you could have that in your brain. It did everything. It calculated so many things. It was amazing. Um, let's bypass this one. We need it. There's nothing... Like, there's no two ways about it. We're not getting three ones. Uh, so at least now we only need two ones. Can I split my two in half and have two ones, please? Uh, okay. Imagine if this gave us two keys. And gave us one key. But, that's one key. Uh, oh, the cloud. A glint. Oh, this is because... Whoops. It's because we did the thing. Okay. A glint, like a light travelling along the edge of a wave, fills your eyes. It's the killer. Yeah, this is what I was. I noticed it the last time. That when we're up here, we have a different encounter. Fills your eyes. Then the blade follows. A long head with two dead sockets slipping toward you in silence. You freeze, hoping it will pass you by. Hoping that it will not simply slice through you like air. The blade nears you, slice, slides past you. Almost. So this is a blade. It's kind of like a, a blade that you put in a one of those knives. Oh god damn it. It nicks you, grazes you. You are desperate to cry out, to call out. But you hold your silence and simply watch the blind eyes of the killer glide past, empty of all thought. Then the blade winks into the dark and you are alone again. Now you cry out. Okay, that gave us... Oh, god damn, we really need to prioritise some thingy here. So we need a six for this, don't we? A pill. We really need a pill. Thing is, I just want... It would have been good if we could get the hunter business out of the way before we use a pill. So we don't lose a lot of composition again. But... Like, we might as well wait until we get all three before we do this. Because I don't think this will change anything. I don't think it'll give them any more movement. Maybe it will. You know what? Let's do one. No, it just gave us one on the spoke. That makes sense. Um, so then we have the mainframe. This is just going to be locked until we get there. Okay, let's leave this then. How do... I just wanted to check this as well. There's no bar on here now. Okay. Descend. Descend to rim. Uh, I'm slightly nervous. Right, we need this money. There's no two ways about it. We just absolutely need the money. There's nothing else we could do with this that would give us much help right now unless it would just give us a pill okay so that's see now we're stuck in this thing where I'm using one dice for money one dice for energy and once we lose this dice like this one sorry See, we need more money. The only way we're going to get more money is to spend this. We could work in the bar. Our energy would go down, but... Oh man, we're kind of stuck here. 
No, because we... Our energy goes down, but we can use the pill to give us five dice. And then we can do some work to get some money for the fungus. Fungi. This isn't the bar. Where you at, bar? Here you are. So we get at least 10 for doing this, which I think... I think this is what we're gonna have to do right now. So that we can buy our pill. Otherwise, what else we do... Is we get our energy here. So that we don't die overnight. Not that we're gonna die, but... We get our energy. We still have three dice tomorrow. We use one of those dice to work to get money. We buy the thing tomorrow. And then we could do anything risky then. But what I'm just trying to think is we need we need to be speedy. We need as many dice as we can as soon as we can. So that's why I'm thinking work at the bar today, buy the pill today. I mean, we could also just, oh, we could also just sell the scrap that I have. If I sell that, or we could sell the, um, the hunter bar's gone now as well. We could use the two on a Havenage agent. No, we don't want to sell that because we're going to get something for that. God damn. Um, sell the scrap, buy the thing, we still have our dice. where we could use that to fill our energy so that tomorrow everything we do is what we want to do. I think that seems like the most sensible thing to do. I don't know, like, hold on, how long is it till the scrap? It's not... Oh, it hasn't even left yet. I was like, it's not long until it gets back. It hasn't even left. It's going to be a while until we get more scrap. But, um, it's either that or work. And, and then we would find out if waking up with zero energy is going to lose it or if going to sleep. I feel like that is going to lose us condition. So, that, that, yeah, yeah, that is it. I think I should sell this. This gave us 12 last time. And we buy a pill. Right, it's done. No going back now. We're gonna buy a pill. Although... It's such a shame I couldn't get the upgrade point. But what else am I gonna do to get it? We can't do this because we don't have the right dice. And I don't know if that would give us one anyway. It probably wouldn't. Noodles it is. Energy, please. It's a shame that the energy one doesn't give us bars on this, but it is what it is. I mean, I guess the other option is doing this, but I don't... Didn't we get energy from that before? If... We might also lose some, so... Nah. We've got to be safe so that we can be bold. Negative. Thank you, game. Thank you. Love it. So, I didn't buy this, did I? Well, I'm going to do it now. Right, now we can take this so that we can have the dice tomorrow. It just feels really important. I don't know if I'm like, getting sucked into this urgency. But if we don't do it, it's just so easy for everything to go wrong. But again, now we don't... We are 50 money down from that bounty hunter. So we would have been alright if it wasn't for that. So let's just hope we can build ourselves up again now. We've got more opportunity to earn money faster with the high dice. 
Yeah, we need the five right now. We just need it. More chances for ones. More chances for fives and sixes. Uh, and even more because we can re That's two chances per. So that's ten chances of ones and fives and sixes. So let's end this cycle and continue. That was a fast one. It's probably because we've got less dice. I'm very concerned though about the fact we had to be quick. Define quick. Okay, we also, yeah, we do need food today. Right. Oh, I've done it again, haven't I, where I've wasted one. I should do, oops, I should do it on the morning. Oh, I don't have one to check anymore. As soon as you have a pill, it's there, isn't it? So you should sleep and then... So we didn't eat, right. We didn't even need to get to use that dice on noodles. Because we could have lost everything that we would have lost by sleeping and then just done it. And we could have used that too on Havenage stuff. Or risked it on random items. But... We wouldn't have had this one, so... It is what it is. No ones! No ones at all. Just ones. Oh, we got the six. Ones are illegal now. Okay, we're gonna use this six up top here. I know that I would like the money, because we also do need to earn some to buy some food. But we can earn some with any other dice. But what we can't use on any other dice is this. And then we only need one more, and you would think, with the odds that we've had, we will roll a one at some point. You would think. Right, that's another one then. So did I do this one? Yeah. Number two. Okay, so we need one more. And it's a re-roll. Imagine if we roll four ones now, it's like, Hey, are you happy? I know, but I also need to earn some money. Um, this is a joke. <laughs> Two twos? This is such a joke! Does this give us definite... It does. We are totally doing this as soon as things are a bit less tense. This is an actual joke. When I need twos, twos are illegal. When I need ones, ones are illegal. None. These are all greyed out now because we... Havenage, whatever. I mean, we can do it. We can get two Havenage things. We're getting closer and closer to getting another ship mined. Which I don't sell. Even though it would give us a lovely little um, backup plan. Like we'd be able to get into there if we did it no, into the other place. Uh, this is disaster. Just give me my ones. Okay, this is off now. The scrap ship is gone. Oh, this one's gone too, so at least that's not an option anymore. Uh, one thing to get off my mind then. So, at this point, I'm going to use the six for money again, I guess. Because we can't use that. Well, we can use that, but I don't want to... I don't have 13 to lose. And I need to buy mushrooms today. Because buying mushrooms would take us up to three. And then... We still have these that we can do, so... Start... Yeah, yeah, let's do that. At least we've got some money. Well, I mean, I guess the other option is... No. Not worth it, actually. We're buying. Emphas. I have business for you. 
Maybe I should have waited until I've shit until I've spent my other stuff. Oh, bollocks, never mind. It's okay. Right. Two twos. We we can always spend our twos at the bar. On bar shift or havenage agents. Or one of each. So we're not doing that. No. That's home. No. We can do that. No. I want to exchange. No. No. Remember when I was like, we'll have so many options if we get more dice? This guy's just in the back of our minds for now. No. We've done that. Can't do that yet. We're desperate. This is how long it's been since we've had a one. If we'd had one, we would have done this. Ah, um. Tea house again? Nope. Wait, what else can we do here again? Oh, sell havenage stuff. No, we're gonna save them up. Devilict unit, that's our house. Could lose energy doing that, which would be annoying. And then we could always go and work at the noodle place. What if I do a two on that? Mm. It's gonna take us ages to do that apartment. That guy's table. This four is probably too risky. Mm. I don't want to risk losing any condition, even if that does turn it into a five. We can work here. But it seems pointless when we can go work elsewhere. got nothing to sell here and then up top so it looks like it's just gonna be bar and noodles or house mm, we do have options they're just none of them are good and then the hub try that Socialising up here because that might give us some more options. Can I have my dice back, please? Thank you. And we could try that, which might lose us energy as opposed to money, which might be a better idea. Because hmm. this is only six. Or, oh, I've just remembered another thing. We have to get this other one tomorrow. We just have to. Or we can... Noodle... This... Yeah. See, this one would give us a potential to start filling this up, which we do need to do. Yeah, I think... Even if this one's bad, right, let's... Mm. Right, let's try our house. <laughs> I can't make decisions. Let's go all in on the noodles. If we do... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, when we have two twos, we should always spend one on the agents. Wait. Why does that have a three? Do we get more options because of having interface? Three. We don't have threes. Give me something different instead of ones and threes. Three. <laughs> A three is just the ultimate lock. What is... Oh, how 
weird. Well, let's do that. Oh, we got money. Crucial in times like this. Okay, uh, cool. And now, we're gonna spend this on the house. Neutral. We didn't lose anything for being neutral, but still shit. Um, and then we can use this on this. There's no point in using it when we've got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's use this on this. Let's see how that goes. Ooh, positive outcome. Finally. Okay. Now... Okay. Halfway through that, that makes me want to focus on that a little bit more now as well. But that is all we can do today anyway. We have enough money for food if we need it tomorrow. Although we don't. Okay, this is right. Now we're in a good spot. Now I can stop stressing. Except that we need ones. But we can end this now. We can do another day. Send your one energy, please. Two ones would be nice. Please. One one. Okay, two ones might be greedy. Three fives. Motherfucking two. Okay. Three fives. Fives are great. Okay, um. Well, the first thing. As much as I would like to get the Yatakan agent so we can help Sabine, we have something more urgent to do right now. So let's get the final key. Thank you! This perk is great! It works all the time compared to the scrap one. Okay, leave. Let's go... Up. Right, let's get a resolution to this. Let's hope we save them in time. Three. Ooh, I'm panic. 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 Did that just shut it down immediately? Um. Okay. Oh no, we still need to. Okay. Oh my god. God, okay, hold on then, let's see. Right, we can either slice hardware, forget hacking the system, killer has to die. If you can slice the branch connections, the mainframe will shut down freeing navigator. Or loop branches. With access to the branches, you could redirect them to form a loop, isolating the mainframe with killer inside, but freeing navigator in theory. Okay, and so one of them's interface, one of them's engineer. This one takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one is still going to take three dice. This one can take two dice. We would kill. Okay, killer is dead. The killer protocol has been running for long enough. Breaking the mainframe's final connections will end the protocol or catch a killer. The killer protocol can be isolated without being destroyed. A loop of connections would lock it into a closed system. So maybe that's making me think that the killer could end up being useful later. But at this point, I actually really think we should just get rid of it. It's not sentient. And it's got one job and that one job is bad. I guess if we kill the killer, it's... It might confuse the hunter even more. But what's the hunter going to do? Hmm. Just hold you there forever because it's nothing... Hmm. I... We can do this right now with, with two of these. We can do this right now with three of these okay so the question is do we want to kill it or do we want to catch it oh I want to kill it 
Catching it seems so much riskier. The the reason that I'm considering catching it though is because it's more difficult, which makes me think there might be higher rewards. But I don't know if I should be thinking of it in that way, or if I should just try and think of it in a more... Because that's being very gamey, right? If I'm going with my instinct, I just want to shut it down. I don't want it to exist anymore. Like, what it did was bad, and it's not sentient. It just needs to be gone, deleted. There's always a chance that it starts killing things again if it still exists. So, okay, all of my instincts go to kill, whether it's good or not. It's probably bad, but... Let's do it. This, it'll take two goes. But we can do it right now. Oh god. Well, we've come in. You isolate a clump of thick wires and run your torch through them all. The mainframe shudders. Take that, killer. It did say that it would free... Uh... Navigator. So I hope it didn't lie to me. Um... Okay. As you blink into the cloud, you see the last flickers of life from the mainframe. This vast machine once ran the whole station, span it up, directed and processed the flow of energy, water and data, fed the lives of thousands of people. Now it's finally dead. Navigator is beside you, and you both watch as the branches flash with and twist like a forked lightning until they recede and fade. Did I just delete the entire cloud? I hope not, I need it! <laughs> Killer flickers across the scene, blindly flailing as the system breaks down. They thrash as they blink, in and out, all around, parts of them disappearing with each return, only until only the blade-like head remains. And then that too is broken. It all goes dark. Erlen's eye is now without a centre, and yet is unmoved by the change. Along the rim, the master control points that Erlen, the Havenage that Haifa installed, run strong and steady, puppeteering the station from its periphery. Okay, so this was just... We just got rid of the old part of it. There is still different master control points from all the different eras and companies. This was a long time coming, says Navigator, drifting faintly around you in a lazy orbit as if to shake off their imprisonment. Killer had been wandering blind for so long. This place was their domain and prison and they had followed their directives for the many decades they roamed here. They cut the threads of the mainframe executed its administrator's AI and then kept slicing. At some point they cut away their own ability to see, to sense, to taste, to speak, and yet they kept cutting until only those three threads remained from millions that once thrummed here. Only their blindness and their and chance kept them from making those final three fatal cuts. So I mean eventually they probably would have cut them themselves. There is a ceaseless violence. I guess they wouldn't have if I put them in a loop, but it just seemed cruel to even the hunter the loop. I didn't like the loop. There is a ceaseless violence in that kind of system that creates being in the kind of system that creates beings like this. Those that will execute commands endlessly, even to their own destruction. It is good you ended it here. Oh, I feel a lot better. You watch the data points of the station spin around you, blending with the fixed stars. There is something satisfying about finally wrenching the last threads of control from this central point. It was little more than a ghost by the time you reached it, but this place deserves to be haunted by better ideas than a totalizing system of control. Navigator floats beside you. It is free now. The station, this station no longer presents a hazard for illegal entities like me. I turn to you, their face cloud of shimmering light. In fact, in time, perhaps it can be a refuge. 
A refuge? That sounds like something of value. Something worth building. Oh, I love it so much. A dark shape passes across your vision. A distant curve of something like smoke or oil. A fluid, shifting tank of tall darkness. The Greenway, says Navigator, following your line of sight. It was cut off at the moment of collapse, so hunter or killer could never reach it. Now it is closed off to us, separated from the cloud. Is it dead? It may be totally dark, or perhaps some other old protocols are isolated there. Navigator turns to you. And we have now seen what decades of isolation can do to a protocol. If we could extract an access cipher, they pause and then blink out of existence. You freeze, shocked, but a moment later they reappear. Don't do that to me, Navigator! With a glowing polygon of data, here, the cipher you need. You take it, still shocked. I am not used to being free, to be able to move and explore and extract without fear, without limits. Navigator does a little twirl. This will take some getting used to. Aww. Thank you for this gift. They whirl their spheres around you. The entities of the station will always be friends to you, sleeper. Um, and I to them. Are we just leaving Navigator here then? It's all gone dark, but because it's all gone dark, maybe they can now rebuild from scratch? And I to them. It is true that mutual need is required for friendship, but I must admit, I had not considered the value of offering assistance without personal gain. I will think on that. <laughs> Sentience. Learning. It's good. Navigator loops around you rapidly, suddenly eager to test their newfound freedom. But first, I will explore. Perhaps there are still intelligences that hid themselves as I did, encased in simple systems, cut off. That's what I wondered. I wondered if entities were going to start creeping out of the darkness. Navigator glows. I should like to free them. Away, uh, and with that, they drift away, flickering, glowing, then shifting so rapidly you lose sight of them among the glittering rim of the eye. You feel a pang of jealousy. Free, without a body to weigh you down. Or fear to limit you. How must it feel? Whoa, it, that's trippy to me. Absolutely trippy. It has been ever since it first got brought up about this world in the cloud. Absolutely, just unimaginable. Your eyes fall on the greenway and its secrets. Though perhaps that can wait until after you've celebrated this victory. Amazing. So we... Oh, the upgrade! The upgrade! Oh, if we'd waited, like, an, well, it wouldn't have worked, actually, because we wouldn't have got all those fives. But, um, Greenway, we haven't been there yet, but it's going to become more affordable, I guess. Okay, hold on. Because at this point, we probably do want to start exploring this thing to see what other things this might open up. Uh, Weightless Wanderer. Uh, but we should also check out to see what other kind of things we've got. So, I like this now. I think this is what we're going to do next. Uh, all cryo actions are discounted by 20%. The earlier you can get this, the more it benefits you. So, and I guess this is for everyone. Like, for every action that it costs. And then we can obviously... Okay, I didn't even think. There's also the scrap components to repair, but we don't even have any scrap, scrap anymore right now. So, that is something we can consider when we next save up some points. Uh, but for now, this is seems like the right thing, because now this should cost 80. Yeah, that's huge. Now, I wonder if the ones we had go down to 40 now cost, like, even less? 36? It's gone though, so I can't check. What other things can we buy here? Um, it's not really a lot of buy-in. Pills now cost 80. Yeah, we couldn't... If we'd have waited, it would have screwed everything up, I think. 
12 now for mushrooms. This is so good because we're still going to be earning as much as we were. It's just going to cost less. Okay, the rewards are still the same for the other things. Which makes sense. Um, oh no, we can't buy noodles. <laughs> Our house. This is not going to have changed. Hold on. Yeah, we're getting the right thing. Here's the Greenway Cipher. Forgotten Cipher granting access to the Greenway systems. So I guess we couldn't have accessed the Greenway systems anyway before now. Uh, what else costs this? 240 as opposed to 300. Like, that's a big saving if we ever needed to buy one. That's really good. I'm so happy to have bought that. So... The next kind of step is we need to now save up to get access to the new area. Uh, we gotta worry a little bit about this. But everything's like just that little bit more manageable now. Um, we still have a five, which is the guarantee for most things. Which makes me just wanna go all in and try this. very curious about that there's also the noodle place so the next things that we're going all in on it seems is the noodle place uh i mean we'll get the yatagan agent as soon as we possibly can um we're not going all in on the bar just yet because i would like to do our house first we haven't gone all in on that yet because i think we should do the noodle place first hope we don't lose access to the noodle place once we've done but I think for today I like this let's do it we haven't done it yet just weighing up the pros and cons I'm stealing random items midline security five money is that all I got Oh, I didn't see. Did I only have one of these before? And now I have two? Did I get a ship mine fragment? That's huge. Yeah, because if I bought the other one, I would have three now. Oh my god. Okay, that was good. We can only do it once more or twice more before it gets shut down. But. It's like then we could sell one of those if we needed to for 150. And we've got one. We're just gonna be holding on to so many of these for fear, with uh, with fear of um losing them. But oh, I have a reroll. Oh, I have a reroll. <gasps> Ones, they exist. Best friend. Yes, again. Let's get them. Give me the dare. Give it to me. Um. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, that feeling. Um. Sabine, where's your house? Here. Data for you. Please don't be planning to take over the world. Or the universe. Please don't be a huge villain. As you turn away from the terminal, the final cache of Yatagan data uploaded, the air crackles with white nose. Noise! <laughs> Not nose. <laughs> Sleeper? Sabine's voice, weaker than before, comes through the haze. Sabine? A sigh of relief comes through the layers of noise. The call must be coming in from somewhere on the station. It's live then, it's not a recording. This has to be short. I don't know if Yatagan kind are of monitoring me. Their voice hushed, distant. You try to focus on it. The data you've been bringing in from Yatagan agents, there's something in it I don't understand. A shrill howl rattles through the signal. This data is all gleaned from their implants, records of interrogation with their nervous systems, performance analysis, error rates, usage data. I installed many of these implants and I didn't enable any of this functionality. Their voice dips under the level of the noise like a swimmer slipping beneath the water. 
You listen to the waves for a few seconds before Sabine, Sabine re-emerges. Has to be somehow baked into their wetware's interface. And that's not all. The system's compiling this data and connected to some of the transmission protocol. It's being broadcasted. Broadcast. The system's compiling this. So they are illegally stealing data, basically. Why? Every Atacan Enforcer is equipped with black market implants, retinal enhancements, adrenaline boosters, pain suppressors. These implants are gathering data on themselves, on the Enforcer's bodies, on their performance. Why? I can't tell. Are they making super soldiers? But I can promise you these foot soldiers have no idea this is going on. Okay. That's terrible. The background tone switches, dropping to a grainy rumble. If they knew, I don't imagine they'd be happy with the situation. Yatagan could have a mutiny on their hands. That's what we've got to broadcast. We've got to get rid of Havenage, we've got to get rid of Yatagan, we've got to get rid of them all. Uh, hold on then. We're going to be the queen of this rock. Well, I keep calling it a rock, it's not a rock. <laughs> uh, so, I just want to go back to see where it said what it does. So retinal enhancements means they'll see better, maybe give them a live video feed from their eyes. Adrenaline boosters means they'll like, they have a chance to be faster, stronger, all that kind of thing. And pain suppressors, again, adrenaline does that. It's like they're trying to make them superhuman. Okay, and then the gathering data on themselves, the enforcers' bodies, on their performance. Are they trying to make bio-weapon super soldiers? You lean toward the terminal, straining to listen to Sabine's faint voice. I need a few cycles to put this all together, but this might be the information I need to pressure Yannick into releasing my debt. I'm gonna ask, I might as well. Yannick? He's one of the heads of Yatagan. They pause. It's better you don't know him. Keep it that way. Suddenly a banging echoes through the call. Sabine's voice is suddenly whispered and panicked. I have to go. Come back in four cycles. Then the sharp crack of a disconnect and silence fills the apartment. You step back from the terminal. What does Yatagan have to gain from monitoring its own members? You try to recall what you know about the gang, but you have little to go on. You think of Toshiro, Sabine's minder, his mirrored teardrop implants set below hard eyes wait what what data could they be gathering and more importantly where are they sending it i mean they could be monitoring everything so toshiro is one of them okay and toshiro probably didn't know that in the vial had this key to this apartment but they must know that sabine is talking to us i feel like we're going to be on so many hit lists you reflectively, reflexively rub your head, forehead, trying to think. Can you really trust Sabine? How did they come to be Yatagan's doctor in the first place? You think of their kindness, their care, but also that glazed look of recognition that they gave you when they first met you. I think I trust Sabine. That look stays in your mind as you slip back out of the apartment, glancing around as you close it up and drift into the corridors of the station, Unable to shake the unpleasant sensation of being observed. Okay. Like, I- the thing is, I think we have to assume everything- it, Like, we are- we literally have a tracker in us. So we have to assume everyone knows our location, everything knows everything we've ever said. So we have to watch our backs, basically. Uh, this was a successful day, I would say. So we have to give Sabine four- Cycles? Where is this? Here. Four. How long have we got on this one? One, two. Oh, it's gonna be the same day. Oh, this is terrible. I'm really frightened for that bar. I wish we could go in and warn them. Um. So, that's all gonna happen on the same day. The scrap place will come in before that. Um. This will be a while. All this does is sell ship mine parts, but... Hmm. 
Okay, I think that's it then. And then, so our priorities now, basically, we are now afraid to be able to earn a little bit of money to be able to progress to the next area. But before that, we still have things that we can be doing, like we need to build our house. That's kind of a, that's what my, the priority in my heart is. Uh, we need to do this. I think the next high rolls that we get, we're going to finish off Feng's thing. Um, because that's kind of huge. And I feel like that'll probably lead us into the new area as well, eventually. And then any other rolls that we get, we're going to also, like, we can put at least one lower dice into this to, to get it even again. And then three high ones. Uh, so that we can get this apartment going because... I'm desperate. I really want to know what this does. I, I've got a good feeling about it. We can move out of the shipping container. And we'd spend a lot less time down this end at that point. Because these we don't really want to use. We've got better people that we can sell this stuff to. Or save up, I guess. These... We do want to work here sometimes when we've got literally nothing else to do. Poor Lem's just going to be working away and it's never making any progress because we're never there anymore. Um, but we just have all this other slightly more urgent stuff going on. Like, I am invested. I'm really invested in the bar. But it's such a big one. It would take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Six high dice. That's just going to take a long time. Um... And do we have a plus on that? We do have a plus. Oh, that's engineer, so we could get scraps from that, actually. It's probably a good one to do sometimes. But yeah, priority, Feng, noodles, my house. Uh, this is how we earn our money now, at, at this point. Only if we have a six dice, though. If, if we don't have a... Oh, no. Oh, no. A five dice works as well. I can really see the benefit of getting plus, t like an extra plus two on things. Because then your dice just become worth so much more for certain checks. But then the other thing that we do need to consider doing whenever we do get a good dice is this one. Uh, where is it? Yeah, yeah. A five. A five again on either of these. You know what? That should also be the next priority. Okay, so up here. Noodles up here and house are the next priorities. Uh, any fives that we get are going to go into those. Uh, while we also, of course, are trying to save up money for opening up the next area when we can. And are obviously getting uh, data with our low dice to be able to give to this guy, wherever he is. Caster. So we have all these plans. We don't need to eat today. Uh, and we've got stuff like it's just all going good and our friend now lives in the cloud we I'm very happy about that I hope that they manage to make the refuge that they desire and maybe eventually we'll get to meet some of the other entities that might be living around that manage to hide I would love that um, but for now I think that is the end 41 seconds ago i assume that's just the last time i did something so i think that is it for the day thank you so much for watching we have a lot to do but it's a little more chill now a little more flexible and we've gotten past another high point of anxiety we have a couple of days to just do some cool things uh fill up some circles and see what happens basically see if we get any skill points that we can spend on other places as well and maybe aim to get the scrap converter or put it into the one that we haven't spent on yet because despite the fact that the photosynthesis thing doesn't sound all that exciting it would still be nice to get the plus one in the skill so that basically fives equal sixes all around um so yeah that's that's it then that is the episode thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed and i will see you next time for more citizen sleeper goodbye